Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we present you 50 beautiful retro historical photos. We hope you will appreciate our work. Write your comment and click the subscribe button. Enjoy the show and here we go. Catherine Bach is an American actress. Photo 1977. Actress Becky LeBeau, 1986. April 7, 1922. Washington, D.C. Photographers shooting cherry blossoms at Tidal Basin. July 1942, U.S. Naval Academy, Annapolis, Maryland, basketball player. May 1942, Greenbelt, Maryland, Federal Housing Project. Shopping in the cooperative grocery store. Washington, D.C., circa 1923. Herbert Hoover Jr. and radio set. Son of the future president and a noted ham. Washington, D.C., circa 1923. Herbert Hoover Jr. radio set. Detroit, circa 1907. Horticultural building, Belle Isle Park. Check out their latest vine. March 1921. City Gardens Club of New York exhibit at the International Flower Show, Grand Central Palace. New Zealand circa 1920. Young men on motorcycles, probably Wanganui region. Ready to run some errands, and you'd better not get in the way. Or else they might be late. Washington DC, 1922. Lee Tire Company Test. The tire to get if you plan on driving over dozens of nails simultaneously. June 26, 1956. Leadcoat Products Company, Vernon Boulevard, Astoria, Long Island. Office Accounting Department. Corridan M. Johnson Company Client. April 1942, South Hill Street, Los Angeles. Now playing at the Warner, the male animal. Washington circa 1922, coin operated radio outside barbershop. Washington, D.C., 
circa 1922. Coin-operated radio and barbershop. April 1955. Duke Ellington and band members playing baseball in front of their segregated motel while touring in Florida. May 1913. Randleman, North Carolina. Charlie Humble. Said he was 10 years old. Has a regular job. Been helping his sister for some months in the Deep River Mills. Mother and sister work. Father deserted. July 1942. Wrestling at U.S. Naval Academy. June 1943. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Miss Frances Heisler, a garage attendant at one of the Atlantic Refining Company garages. She was formerly a clerk in the payroll department of Curtis Publishing. January 20th, 1921. Washington, D.C. American Forestry Association, Birdhouse Contest. Arlington County, Virginia, circa 1941. National Airport. Plane in front of passenger terminal and control tower. November 13, 1911. New York streets during garbage strike. Saginaw, Michigan, circa 1908. Hoyt Library. Circa 1906. The Bathing Beach at Magnolia, Massachusetts. September 1952. St. Louis Browns pitcher Satchel Page. Nineteen twenty four. Washington, D.C. In recognition of his having conducted the most successful radio exhibition in the U.S., Alfred Stern director of Washington's first radio exposition, was presented with this elaborate loop antenna by Dr. J. Harris Rogers, famous inventor. June 1943. Turkey Pond, near Concord, New Hampshire. Women workers employed by a Department of Agriculture Timber Salvage Sawmill. Ruth de Roche, 18-year-old pit woman, resting her head on her lunch pail during the lunch hour. The Enchanting Karen Brennan of the 1980s. June 1913. Child Labor Scholarship. Boy securing his weekly allowance from the New York Child Labor Committee that permits his presence in school.
Spring 1961. My brother was just completing his first year teaching English at a Sacramento, California area high school and accompanied some of his students on a trip to Yosemite, where he snapped this Kodachrome slide. Circa 1910. Whaleback barge entering Whitesa Lock, Salt St. Marie, Michigan. Circa 1943, another look at the Dimaction deployment units. Somewhere in North Africa, with Carl Spatz leading the group on the right. Washington, D.C., 1922. X-ray at Garfield Hospital. We'll have you patched up in no time, kiddo. November 16, 1935. New Orleans photographs 1123 Royal Street. Hi, Bob. January 1959. Boating on Florida's Sewanee River. Bud and Pat Boyett, with children Vic and Becky, Vacationing on their boat near Paddlewheeler Bell of Sewanee. April 17, 1947. Armed troops form a roadblock at Texas City, Texas, as all persons, including workers, were barred from entering the area where new explosions were expected. Fire and huge oil storage tanks burns in background. March 26, 1923. Washington, D.C. Test Car, Bureau of Standards. See above for details. Circa 1900. Recreation Dock, Amusement Pier, New York. Check your brakes. April 12, 1966. Sandy Calfax, pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers, in the locker room signing baseballs. June 1943. Pitcairn, Pennsylvania. Mrs. Bernice Stevens of Braddock, Pennsylvania, mother of one child, employed in the engine house of the Pennsylvania Railroad, earns 58 cents per hour. She is cleaning a locomotive with a high-pressure nozzle. Her husband is in the Army. 1920s. Unidentified women at Long Beach, New York. Two jazz-age sunbathers just in from West Egg. nineteen twenty four the latest in radio development which has been perfected by mr h p o'reilly of washington d c which seems to incorporate a telegraph one the early wire recorder alluded to on the wall may nineteen forty three palacios texas liquor store the original wine box nineteen oh three oriental hotel and boardwalk manhattan beach brooklyn new york
July 1942. U.S. Naval Academy, Annapolis, Maryland Gymnast on the Flying Rings. December 1943. Washington, D.C. A lieutenant in the Army Air Transport Command calling the airport to check on flight conditions before checking out at the United Nations Service Center. January 1912. Tenement Homework, New York 309 West 146th Street. Mrs. DeLevo, question mark and her seven-year-old daughter, Lorenza, embroidering ladies' waists in their dirty kitchen living room. Detroit circa 1902. Photochrome Company Building Side View. Echo Cliffs, Grand River Canyon, Colorado. Photochrome print published in 1914. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Pretty Becky LeBeau 1988. This is the end of our performance. We hope you enjoyed it and appreciate our work. See you in the next performance. Have a good day.